hello crafting welcome back to my channel in this video we will be making a gilly scrunchy headband if you're new here you're highly welcome join the craft team i am ibiwari if you're a returning subscriber thank you for coming back let's get crafting so to start with we need our items and all items used will be in the description box below So we need our uh, Alice headband. We need our Alice headband. We need our thread and needle. We need our scissors. We need our tape. We need a gum stay. You need a gum stay because I want my if your gilly is very strong you don't need a gum stay mine is a bit soft so I'll be using a gum stay for it to adding it up a bit give it some stiffness so if yours is already stiff you don't need your gum you don't need the gum stay but if it's not stiff like mine you can make it of a gum stay to make it stiffer then for your gum stay you have the shiny part and the part that is not shiny the shiny part is the part that has the gum so it's the part you put on your fabric that's the wrong side of your fabric so you place the shiny part on the wrong side of your fabric and iron on it you don't need a, a steamer you just use your iron directly on it and it will hold to your fabric so take note that is not to be used on the good side of your fabric you're using it on the wrong side of your fabric so i've cut out the measurement i want to use the length i'm using 30 inches and for the width i'll be using 16 inches depends on how you want your uh, scrunchie to be you can make your length longer your width wider so that it can come out bigger and fuller to your preference so i'll sew around the edge of my fabric the open edge i'll sew around it then towards the middle i'll leave about two to three inches opening where we can turn our fabric outside because we are folding it we folded the fabric so we are sewing on the the good side facing each other then we'll sew to it when we are done we'll turn it inside out to the good side so I'm done sewing, so I'll just go ahead and turn out the good side of my fabric. So the when we folded to sew, it was from the width end, from one width to another, that is what we did to the join, then we sew, not the length wise, it was the width we folded and made the sewing. So I'll just go ahead. I used my scissors for this. If you have any other item that is more comfortable to use to push out the edge of your fabric. So I'll do the same for both ends. I did the same for the four sides of my fabric. Then I'll go ahead and sew this, uh, the two to three inches opening that helped us to turn our fabric inside out. So I'm done with that closing up. So here comes the part we are getting our scrunchies started. Yes, we are back getting our scrunchies started. So make a running stitch. Now the running stitch is from the sewn points. It's not from the closed end. It's from the part where we sewed. That's where we are doing our running stitch. From one edge to the other edge. So I'll just go ahead with my needle and thread, make my running stitch pull along as I go to get um, form my scrunchie, the gathers, or the ruffles, whichever. But we are forming scrunchie. So I'll just go ahead and do this, but I will speed up the video so we'll come back and see when we are done with our gathering and forming our ruffle, our scrunchy, whatever you call it.
so i'm almost done when you're done forming your gathers you're, you're done with your running stitch you pull along the line for this please you double your thread so that it won't break on you don't snap and break and you have to do your work all over again so you just double your thread then once you're you get to the other edge you pull till you are you don't feel any movement on your line again then you stop and stitch and hold down in place then you hold down in place that's just all easy and straight to the point so please do remember all the points where we sewed is where we did our running stitch from one edge to the other edge so for our headband i customized it with um, the fabric there is a link to the video where you can watch how to customize your headband with your gala fabric so i'll just up above you see the link to that video you can watch and do your own or customize your own you can use that same method for any other fabric so now comes the part i'll stitch down you can use glue for this part also to just glue to your headband but i prefer using my needle and thread to stitch it down so do you your preference so if you've watched us up to this point and you've not joined the crafting what are you waiting for don't miss out on our headwear designs fashion accessory diys millinery tips more to come on this channel click that subscribe button now and join the crafting i would love to see you in the crafting so to stitch with needle and thread you take one part pick the your scrunchie gilly scrunchie now your gilly scrunchie that you've made pick one part go through your headband go through your headband and pick the next part go through your headband and pick the next uh your gilly fabric so that is basically what you'll be doing you pick your your fabric from one end go through your headband pick the other end then go up on your headband pick your head and the gilly fabric come down pick your headband so that's basically what you do and you keep moving up keep moving up as you're taking one end when you take your uh pick your gilly fabric you take pick your headband then you move and pick your gilly fabric so you're picking three times one from one your gilly fabric from one end you pick your headband your gilly fabric from the other end then you move up your headband pick your gilly fabric pick your headband and pick the gilly fabric from the other end so that's basically what you do trust me is simple and easy to do simple and easy to do so if you've if you make this design i would like to see it, share with us tag us on our facebook at ibis fine crafties instagram at ibis fine crafties we would like to share your designs with other crafting please share this video so others too will benefit from this tutorial and don't forget to give it a thumbs up so that our videos will, youtube will help push our videos out and we'll have more members to join the crafting we are moving towards 200 uh, subscribers so please help push out our video so that we'll get more people benefiting from the tutorial and subscribing to our channel so we are basically done almost done just doing the final stitch on the other side of the headband then we are done we are done i'm so excited about this you know this headband gives you that owambe vibes if you're in nigeria you know what i'm talking about party vibes you know that wedding party child education party anything party just walk it and slay just walk it and slay that or one babe vibes so that is what this 
the least crunchy headband is given trust me you gonna slay with it so i'm done i'm done i'm done i'm done so so you can further enhance your your the scrunchiness of your gilly fabric for this front part you can twist them like you're making a pleat then attach a stitch down make a pleat stitch down make a pleat stitch down all around this your front part to give it more scrunchiness or you can just fold your gilly fabric tack fold tack just little little tack like so that your needle will not your thread will not show it gives it that extra scrunchiness but me i did that pleating towards the end part of it that's what i did i did that little little pleating and tack it down that is what i did and this is me this is me doing what fine girls do permit me just permit me to do what fine girls do admire themselves and slay their gilly mm -mm. yeah slay our head but so please click the subscribe button if you've not subscribed join the craft team like i always say there is nothing you cannot do just be creative take care of you till meet in our next video stay safe take care and bye